What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology today I'm gonna continue the third series of uh, report lab tutorial so probably a couple of weeks ago I have uh, have uploaded two videos on report lab that that is actually uh, that was actually like introduction installation and like I have created one simple um, PDF and after that uh, like um, I actually created how to um, I created one PDF file using like some sort of PDF encryption or uh, like in very basic level like um, how to create a PDF file using password um, or, like protected credential so there are three or four types of different tutorials which I have uh, like which you already covered but uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about like uh, how to write something I think we already have seen that how to write something and how to format your strings like more or less this is going to be the fonts so without like wasting like much time so just let's start our video but before moving forward just uh, one request those are actually not yet subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that the notification should not be like missed from your like uh, uh, from you okay so that's all let's start the video so the first thing first let's import like from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas so today i'm using eclipse so from re report lab dot lead dot units import inch okay just for this I think the next thing is like C equals to let's say or like PDF file equals to canvas dot canvas just give one name let's say uh, it's font tutorial dot PDF then just uh, um, okay pdf file dot get available font so actually this is going to print all the fonts let's say fonts equal to this now let's print this thing then it will be easier for understand how to get all the available fonts i think this is going to uh, write one or print one list so these are the fonts available okay so we can use any of this font to like format our uh, file so but before moving forward click font in fonts and then see uh, pdf file dot set set font it's going to be like uh, like font and just keep the size name as 2025 okay then let's change the color pdf file dot mm, i think it is going to be set fill color set fill color i think set fill color rgb so just make it this 0, 0 0.1 0 0.5 okay and let's write something like pdf file dot draw string okay so our x will be let's say 30 and y is y and our text will be font so i'm just giving let's say y is 760 okay and i'm just going to minus this up to 10 so it is it is from top to bottom so uh, let's start this thing like um and once this is done let me just save this thing like pdf file dot save 
so what is happening over here i'm just uh, creating one pdf file and after that i am just uh, saving the entire list of fonts in this variable or list variable and after that i'm just printing this thing and once this is done i'm just iterating through the list and i'm just creating so before going forward let me just do one thing like uh, pdf file dot translate it will be inch and just for specifying so okay hope it should run so it's run it's terminated so let's refresh this thing this thing actually i'm using eclipse so i have to refresh manually this is a very weird thing in eclipse so font tutorial has been created so let me just open this thing well uh, nothing happened actually okay uh, why okay the thing is that uh, y minus 10 actually i have to like use y equals to y minus 10 now i should run this again okay so now let's run this so again it is like not very much uh, very well placed actually so i think mm, i think i should make this a bit 15 and let's check if to y minus 2 okay now it's okay so this many fonts are available so see you, you can i'm just giving you the complete thing how you can use like in, in your case like most of the cases probably you are having like first paragraph is title second paragraph is content and third paragraph will be something called regards and all so you, you need to use three sort of forms so in that time you have to looping through the font so if you created a list using the font and after that you can assign each element one font then you can use this sort of techniques like so that's all like how to use different font but again uh, in the next video it is going to be very interesting for example i am i'm getting lots of requests from most of my like uh, friends from uh, like um, mostly from uh, countries like um, middle east and all they are actually very much interested to use uh, uh, like or they are having some requirement to use their arabic fonts so how to use that arabic fonts if you see in uh, report lab there is not it is not possible to get arabic fonts because by default this is not possible so how to use that font so i'm gonna continue or i'm gonna uh, like uh, cover that tutorial in the next video but before uh, like uh, ending the video so let me just conclude the session so uh, in this tutorial like what you have seen like how to use a different sort of fonts or how to use um, like uh, how to check what are the different fonts are available and how to assign your like um, um, contents or like pdf contents like with respect to your requirement uh, uh, like, and also you can uh, like um, give some color using this thing and also you have mentioned this size of the font so okay so the first thing first this the importing of this thing like this is normal and after that i just created this uh, file and after that uh, this thing like um, just saving all the fonts in the form of list uh, inside this variable and after that i'm just printing this assign on random value like from top to bottom and i'm just iterating through the list and i'm just creating this whole file and after then i just say okay so i think uh, this is very simple but this is uh, going to be very important when you are going to work actually with some sort of like pdf reporting and all then that time font will be definitely important because as i said like most of the companies have their like brand and quality thing for this sort of reports and for every uh, like uh, department has their own uh, fonts or mostly in company specific or something like that so fonts going to be like very important one and the size and color so that's all guys like before uh, like uh, conclude last but not least please subscribe to our channel share our videos with your friends if you think uh, you can do something more better if you have some feedback if you have some suggestion or if you have some other topics which we can like um, create videos please do let us know via facebook like page by commenting on our videos or you can directly send me an email and also if some, some clarification doubt or any other things just just don't hesitate just write me i'll be happily um, i'll be happy to help you okay guys that's all that's for today and hope to see you in the next video and in that video i'll show you how to use some uh, like other types of font which is by default not available inside the report lab like uh, fonts library okay so till then take care goodbye